Hello and welcome along to the channel, or welcome back. It's Sunderland on the road to glory with me, Jay Wower, and we are back. Yes, look at this for a day. We had the early kickoff against Newcastle, a 4 0 win, a Benjamin Sesco hat trick, and Manchester City versus Aston Villa. Villa with a 91st minute equaliser. Come on. United drew against Liverpool as well. We've got a game in on Liverpool, two points clear. We are, lev we are level on games with City, three points behind. <clears throat> City have just played United and they won 1-0. United went down to 10 men after about 18 minutes. What did we do on that same day? We absolutely battered Everton. Sander Mass. I'm so sorry, Sander. 5 0 against Everton, 1 0 at half time. Weren't playing very well, but we were winning. Luca 2, Marco 2. Happy days. And then Sesco with a hat trick against Newcastle. The forwards are firing. Today we've got a triple header. We've got this, the semi final of the Champions League, and we're going to bring you a little bit of Burnley in the middle. Just a bit of garnish in the sandwich of Zebra. A Zebra sandwich, if you will. Like a fancy restaurant. Bristol City are in the championship. Newcastle six points off the pace with three games left. That defeat to me was big. We haven't relegated them, but we've got a long way to doing so. Oh, Milan have beaten City 2-0 in the first leg. But anyway, here we go. We're starting the game. Away at Zebra. And here comes Zebra now. Vinicius Jr. Oh, to Vlahovic. Oh, he goes for the dink and Donnarumma gives him the eyes and saves it well. Brilliant from Donnarumma. Let's give you some encouragement, team. Anthony Yachty. Playing him as a deep-line playmaker again. He's just come from Italy, so I feel against Italian teams, he's going to thrive a bit more. So, that's my thinking behind him over um, Al Bishi as a ball winning midfielder. Want something a bit creative? Off the post! And it was Anthony Otti who played through Buenaventura, who burst through from central midfield attack. Tactically very good there. He's getting a 7. Buenaventura's getting a 6 point. Right, come on. 6.5 for Lorenzo. Do we, do we bother? We're not going to change anything for the first 15 minutes. I'm semi-happy with how things have gone in this first half. We've been close, but no cigar. Let's give them some encouragement. A couple minutes more and I'm going to be bringing on someone for Buenaventura. Again, he's, I think I'm going to sell him. Jamie Ward! Oh, Jamie Ward 1-0. Jude Bellingham with the assist. And Jamie Ward with his 11th of the season. Didn't come back till January. Halfway through the season. Brilliant. Bellingham now whips it across and Jamie Ward bang. But Buenaventura's race is run for the day. I'm going to bring on... Sleecher, just like for like, central midfield attack. I'm going to demand a bit more. Come on, give us a bit more, guys. Uh, Lorenzo's not playing well either, so Marco's coming on for you, Lorenzo. And Vayner's not playing well either, so what we're going to do here is we're going to bring on David Lind and swap him with Jude Bellingham. Oh, not very, they didn't like that demand more. Oh well. 
We haven't got long left. <clears throat> Woo. Jorian now. David Lind. Marco. Lind. Jorian. Marco. Jamie Woods offside. Jamie Woods offside. He does... He's been trained to spring the offside trap. He does it and he finishes it, but I think that was off. Got this one. Yeah. Miles off. No need to go that early. Oh, Jorian. Oh, Jorian. David Lynn now. Why are you bit? Why? He's like 5'11. Marco's 6'4. Pump it long to him and high. Bad decision that pass. Giving them the chance to attack and equalise, and they've done it. Referee's going to go to VAR, but I don't think there's going to be anything that's going to be done here for me. Goal disallowed. Well, Ezekiel Zabios. He was offside. Didn't think he was. There was too many bodies in the way. 1-0. We've taken the first leg against Zebra. Nice work, everyone. That was good. Yes, it was. Now we've got Burnley. Away. Away at Burnley. I think this is the team we're going to go with. The Los Santos in the hole. Marco and Sesco up top. Sander Mass, player of the month for me. Uh, Al Bashi, ball in midfield. David Lind on the old box to box. Leonardo and Guerrero as fullbacks. I'm going to swap them around. And Mine and Scalvini. The City have got Everton. We battered Everton recently, so I'm not expecting Everton to do us a favour, but they could. They haven't. City have won. Okay, we have to win. We have to win every game. It's not like it's not a surprise. Uh, Expect nothing but a win. Right, come on, let's get the early encouragement going. Mbappe missed a penalty for City in that game. They got a red card, but they still got the result. Albashi now, come on. Lind out to Guerrero. Someone get in the box for him. Oh, brilliant from him and Sander Mass. Oh! Referee's going to VAR. I don't know, someone felt off about that. He felt a bit pedestrian. Goal awarded. I don't know, just something about the way that sort of got floated in and the way it, headed, it, was, head, uh, the way it was headed home. It just felt a bit odd. <laughs> Don't know. One nil. I'll take it. Ben Sesco. Anyway, here comes De Los Santos. Burst through. Ben Sesco. Marco didn't have the legs to keep up with him. Sheffield United are losing to Chelsea. I am just interested in that game, just slightly, because of the old um, relegation battle with Newcastle. It's Newcastle or Sheffield United for that final space. One or the other. Galvini, Albishi now, De Los Santos, Andermas, Ben Sesco, Marco. Good save. De Los Santos with the corner. It's not a foul. Sander Mass now picks it up on the edge of the box. Leonardo, hit it. Ooh. Come on, let's get to half time. There we go. Uh, created loads, that's fine. Yeah, I want to keep them happy. I want to keep them happy. I'm not going to change anything. We have been the better side. Al Bashi's not... The, the midfield three haven't been... 
brilliant, to be fair. David Lind, oh, rubbish header. That's where I'm going to be making a change in a minute. That midfield three. Sander Mas will be staying on because he's not registered for the Champions League. Ben Sesko now. Play it inside. Find someone. De Los Santos. Brilliant. Oh. Can you win the header? David Lind. Brilliant. I'll be she now. Mass. Sesko. Penalty. What a move. Just going to be a penalty. It's not going to be a red card. What we go for VAR for there? Imagine if that wasn't a penalty. We'd be livid, wouldn't we, gang? Marco. Yossi Marco with his 24th of the season. Perfect, perfect angle. Oh dear, the comfortably dispatches the spot kick. It was, it was a pretty shambolic penalty if you if i'm being honest all right sandamas is playing better right al bishi you're coming off for domingos and david lind for the bends tommy bends give him a game let him show what he can do i don't know how that's not gone in I honestly do not know how that's not gone in. We are so lucky. Still be 2-0 up. And looking, dare I say it, comfortable. Here come Burnley now. That's yours, Walter Leonardo. Back to Donnarumma. Minet. Keep it going out to the left. Guerrero now. Marco. Just can't be bothered, can he? He literally just can't be arsed. Del Santos is playing well. Do I bring a centre back on? For Marco? Or Sesco? I'm going to bring, a, I'm going to bring Carnesis on for Sesco and put Carnesis at centre back. He's now going to be... I'm going to put him on a... No, oh, just leave him on attacking. Advanced playmaker on attack. Yeah, that'll do. Tony Minet now. Comfortable on the ball, isn't he? De Los Santos. Benz. Ben Sesco. He's about to come off. He's about to come off. He gets... Is that his second? Do I bring him off now if he's on a hat-trick? He is on a hat-trick. Right. Ben Sesco has got 23 for this game, so he's now got 26 in the league. He's still only third. No, he's got 25, so he only got two in this game. Donna Rummer. It'd be a tall ask for Sesco to get top goal scorer now. But he's in form, so let's leave him on the pitch. Because he's not going to play against Juve. It's going to be Luca and uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie Wood. Oh, Santos. Marco, to make it four, he does. The referee's going to waste everyone's time and go to VAR before telling everyone, goal awarded. Twenty-five for the season for him. And we are going to bring on Carnesis for Tony Minet. Just save his legs for 15. Not that he desperately needs it. A shout and praise. Shout and praise. 
They love it. This is more like it. This is more like the Sunland we know and love, gang. Oh, it's been a turbulent for a couple of months. But we've got back on top of things. Changing systems worked. As well as a lot of team meetings and a lot of... I mean, I literally went and criticised half the team's form. I had team meetings. Uh, I praised people's training. I was just... I was talking to them at every opportunity. I was criticising their performance in matches. Because we were bad. We were very bad. But a great 4-0 win. And as you can see, three games left. We have a considerable... A considerable uh, advantage in goal difference. So if City lose one game and we win our three, we will win it on goal difference. We can get to 86 points, which was the same as what City got last season. So we can't get, we can't do as well as we did last season. We've qualified for the Euro Cup. Fine. Ray Sesco's performance, of course. West Ham have beaten Newcastle and they're as good as down. They're as good as down. Goal difference mathematically and it can still be saved, but it's almost not going to be. Um, West Ham are making a huge push for that Champions League. But, and they've got City, haven't they? They've got City next in five days' time. City have got a. City are playing against um, Milan in the Champions League semi final, and they're, they're behind. They are behind. When Aventura is on his last legs here. He had a great season last season from the inside forward role. This season he's been bad. He's been so disruptive. I genuinely think I think it's time for him to go. Reina with the corner. Lorenzo Luca. Come at the hour. Come at the man. Eight minutes in. Big Lorenzo yet again. What a corner. Near post header. You love to see it. 1 0 at the Stadium of Light. Rayner again with the corner. Into Luca again. Oh, off the crossbar. Here comes the highlight. Wood. Buenaventura now. Guerrero. Antoniotti. Buenaventura. Guerrero. Oof. Vinicius Junior. Flahovic nods it, but Donna Rummer catches it. Big kick. This highlight's not over. Oh. Still their highlight. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, brilliant! What absolute phenomenal defending. And here comes Jamie Wood. Great ball in. Ooh, Lorenzo. Six foot seven, Lorenzo. Come on. Jostle. Your elbows out. Must be a nightmare to play against. The KG first half, only the one shot on target, and that was the goal for us. Um, Kriezer's got injured as well. When Ventura, 6.7. Jamie Wood, 6.6. .6. Jude Bellingham, a 6.7. 15 minutes, boys. Or start making changes. What was that? It's their highlight then. Ruggeri. 
Kulisevsky. I could tell you now. Oh, here, we, here they come. Here they come. Blahovic. Balloons it wide. We're very fortunate there. Very fortunate indeed. Not sure what happened there. Nice little glitch. But we'll take it. Seems like our highlight. Jamie Wood. Jamie Wood. Marauding down that wing. Wanna Ventura now. Into Antionotti. Bellingham. Rayner. Bellingham. Rayner with the corner. Looking for Luca again. I'm get it. But I'm sure, at least he's showing a bit of desire. All the way back to Donnarumma, who plays a terrible ball. Right, Bellingham now. Luca. Larry Busari. Wood. Busari. Mine. Here we go. Wood. Oh. Oh. That was a great pass. Getting a 7.0 again, Antionotti. He's played very well since coming to us. That deep line playmaker role, he's making it his own. He's becoming the first name, I think, about in that position. And it's making Al Bashi sit on the bench. We're going to now. Come on, Benjamin Shaw, do something. In, Luca, 2 0. Come on. That's counting. Right, Bellingham is going to come off for Al Bashir. I'm going to give Bellingham a rest. Because I'm going to want to play him in the next league game. It's 3 0. And it's not like it's. <laughs> I mean, whilst Jude Bellingham is probably the best player we've got. Al Bashi is still phenomenal. Come on, we'll just we'll just tick this over till the end of the match. I'm going to bring on Marco on for Luca. Save his legs. I know he's I know he scored two, but save his legs and Reina or oh. I'll bring him off for Sleecher. There we go. We've made our three changes. Marco. Buenaventura now. Leche. Guerrero. Antinotti. Oh, brilliant. This guy's pass. Obishi, Antinotti. Buenaventura. It's broken to Marco. It's four on aggregate, three on the night. And we've done it. We are going to the Champions League final for the third year in a row. The Balos into Donnarumma. Donnarumma just collects it nicely. Big kick. Can we just get to full time? And lovely finish. Oh, we're now going to VAR. Come on, ref. Gold disallowed. Right. We don't need to see a replay, do we? That's it. Full time. We're there. We're in the final. Congratulations on reaching the final. You deserve it. You do, gang. Because I'll tell you what. You've been good in the Champions League. It's the league you've been pouring. And who've we got? Game's now, right? Oh, they've done it in extra time. It's not deja vu. It's not history repeating itself with us facing Milan. But it is once again an all-English final. It's Manchester City versus Sunderland. After extra time, they've won. So, we have... We've knocked them out of the FA Cup. We've got Aston Villa in the final there. The next episode we're coming back for, it's just the triple header. It's Tottenham, Man United and Fulham. The, game after, the episode after will be the double final, FA Cup and Champions League. Uh, so, like the video, subscribe to the channel, take care and I'll see you very soon.
like straight away.